Hey guys, we are here at 76 Old Mountain Road in Upper Grandview. We have some leaf blower noise going around, but Frankie and I still want to take you on this tour today. We had some problems with Facebook Live audio, so we're going to do it this way instead. First off, Frankie, just pan down that driveway. Look at this setting. I mean, this is so unusual to find this so close to Nyack. You know, you, I'm not a fan of the kitschy taglines for houses, but I'm going to tell you, Frankie, this is Vermont in Nyack with the views. So come on inside. Let's go check it out. I am a fan of the red house. I like the color red. Let's go to the left. And we are walking into the living room, which features a wood burning fireplace and a wall of French doors looking out onto the river view because Frankie, that's what this is all about, the river view. And so you can access the deck, which is a really nice size. It runs that, that width of the house. Uh, and then of course, there's 0.44 of an acre below. So really pretty light. And I think, let's go this way. Let's, let's switch it up a little bit. We're going to pass a powder room and we're going straight into the kitchen with mostly new appliances and a river view. And Frankie, I just want to point out my favorite all-time refrigerator. Look at that design. There's just something about it. And I like those shelves. I don't know. I, I would put stuff in there. I guess that's for wine. But I see it for other things. And microwave oven, cooktop. And once again, all about that view. And I think let's walk this way because we haven't seen the dining room yet. So walking this way, really nice dining room. And one thing I didn't mention yet, Frankie, is that there are board approved plans to increase this house for a whole two story addition um, that are shovel ready that you can take advantage of. But I, I want to stress that it's, it really is perfect the way it is now. This is both a fabulous weekend home or a primary residence as well. It has everything. Let's pop up the stairs. Loving these hardwood floors throughout everything. And we come upon the seating area, which is maybe my favorite part of the house. I love the way the owner set this up. And I could see if, if I lived here and I work from home, I would probably wind up here with my laptop all the time. I love this landing. And I, I like that feeling of spaciousness. And so three bedrooms on this floor, plus a full bath. Really, really nicely sized bedrooms. Once again, with pretty light. This one has river views, Frankie. And I'm stressing that, you know, it's not just seasonal. It is all your river views. Back bedroom here feels like a tree house. It's all beautifully painted, neutral. And it feels, doesn't it feel peaceful and serene? So the, serene. Right? It has that really chill vibe, I think. And beautiful central air on this floor as well. And a full attic for storage. Full bathroom. Love these vintage bathrooms. They do not set tile the way they did back then. So really solid with some nice updates. And then to the left, we have the primary bedroom, which is really a nice, nicely sized bedroom. There's definitely, this is at least a king size bed. Feeling once again up in the trees. And then Frankie, I never go into closets, but I'd like you to just shoot that closet now. Beautiful custom closet. I would be so organized if I had this closet. I know you're organized generally, Frankie, but would you be extra organized? Extra organized with this. Be beautiful. And as we turn around this way, love those pine trees. That's Vermont-like. And I just want some pancakes and syrup. Feels like a, a vacation home. It really does, Nancy. And as we come around this way. Let's go down the steps. So this is not the only part of the home, Frankie. There is also a finished lower level basement that walks out onto the backyard. So it's super functional. So let's walk around this way and pop down to that basement. There we go. There's a utility room that's cordoned off to the right, and then we have a main space down here. And what I like is, 
I, I like the, that there's you know, enough space for anything that you might need. There is a great media room space. Once again, you could work from home down here, as well as a possible gym space. I could see a Peloton right there. And then there's even a full bath. So if you had guests, or if you, once again, if you wanted to make this office space. And actually, with the separate entrance, this is fabulous office space. So if you can just get that long shot, Frankie, that would be great. And then let's actually walk out. Loads of nice leaf blower noise today. Seems to be increasing in frequency. And we have a, a whole patio that is all wired and set up for a hot tub. But I mean, this backyard is screaming for a pool. Ah, screaming for a pool. Um, or for an addition. Or just to exist as it is. It's really vast, Nancy. Re it, it's vast. I mean, this is 0.44 of an acre. And as we swirl around this way, let's go up onto that deck. We have no luck with that uh, noise factor, Frankie, lately. Never, ever. Either car alarms, leaf blowers. Could be one of those days. And so looking out over that deck from this angle. And if you're just joining us, we were touring 76 Old Mountain Road in Upper Grandview, not to be mixed up with Upper Nyack. Uh, we're offering this at 739. It is about 1,500 square feet on 0.44 of an acre. And the taxes are grazing 17, which is really not bad, unfortunately, for our area. Um, so great to give you that tour, and I will catch you on the next one.